So welcome all of you here today. We appreciate you coming. This is our weekly briefing, but we're kind of outside of our normal briefing room, and so we appreciate you making your way out here. We have some friends that we'll introduce here in just a minute. Uh, want to start off with reminding people that next week, Halloween, that the most important thing is for our kids to be safe. It's a fun holiday, so remind folks when you're out there with the uh, our young Wichitans enjoying the uh, the holiday, carry a flashlight, inspect the candy before diving in. It's always probably good to have the mayor do a taste test, and uh, if you need help, just let me know. Also, for our parents, make sure you're not blocking exit or fire lanes in case of an emergency. So my first guest that I'm going to call up is Ruth Ann Kepsel. Ruth Ann is uh, with an organization called the Assistance League of Wichita, and they run Operation School Bill. I ran across what they were doing recently, and I just thought they have a phenomenal job that they do for our city, for students all over. And I'm going to let Ruth talk about how many students they serve and their mission. Ruth, why don't I turn it over to you? It's a pleasure to be here this morning to represent the Assistance League of Wichita. We are a chapter of the National Assistance League. We are a nonprofit organization seeking to meet the needs of our community. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary this year, and for almost all of those 30 years, we have provided new clothing to students in the Wichita Public Schools who are referred to us by their school social workers. For many, many years, we purchased and maintained a clothing warehouse. The last two years, we have moved into a partnership with the J.C. Penney's store at Town West Mall. And it was on one of our shopping sessions that the mayor and his wife happened to come into the store to shop and stopped and asked questions. This past Saturday, we finished our 19th shopping session. We started in August, and I'm very proud to say we had 2,700 students from pre-K through seniors in high school who came to JCPenney's who were able to shop, pick out their own brand new school clothes, many of them for the first time ever. We're very proud of this program. We feel that our greatest mission is to serve the families and the children of our community and it's been our pleasure for all of these years to provide Operation School Bell. Almost all of the money that we receive to fund our programs, the majority of it comes from the Assistance League Thrift Shop which is at 2431 East Douglas. We invite you to come meet with us, meet our members, and help us in supporting the community. Once again, we sincerely appreciate the mayor's invitation to come this morning to help get our message out about Operation School Bell and the Assistance League of Wichita. Ruth Ann, thank you. You guys do phenomenal work for our community. I appreciate what you do, and I just think it's an awesome mission. And uh, anything we can do to help, we, we certainly want to be a good partner if there's something we can do to to help or bring more attention or figure out how we can help you raise more money because it's a wonderful cause. So we appreciate what you're doing for our city. Next, I want to bring up uh, Major Joseph Wheeler. Major Joseph Wheeler is with the Salvation Army. They're getting into their big season for raising funds. They do phenomenal work in our community also. And the Major is going to tell us a little bit about the Angel Tree program. So, Major, I'm going to turn the podium over to you. First of all, we want to celebrate that as we start off this holiday season for 2017, I'm pleased to announce that we have a distribution center. We're not looking. We found one, and it will be of tremendous support to the community as we prepare to distribute the angels and gifts throughout the holiday season. Secondly, I think we are known perhaps the best for our Christmas assistance program. The Angel Tree program provides more than 29,000 toys to area children, assisting more than 4,600 cases at Christmas. A tremendous thing to celebrate that resources are available to make somebody's holiday much more festive and important. 
We are in constant need of host sites, corporate sponsors, and donors who shop for the community youth as they provide angels and Star of Hope gifts to those who are seniors in our community. Last year, we provided more than 4,400 gifts to adults, as well as taking care of the needs of children. Our fundraising effort starts this coming Saturday, November 4th, the 11th and the 18th, with the firefighters going out for boot block. And they help collect funds to support the ongoing work of the Salvation Army, but very few people realize that throughout the year, the Salvation Army is providing hydration services to all of the firefighters. So from January to December, we cover all the costs of Gatorade, water, etc., over and above our Angel Tree program. We're now taking applications starting November 6th for holiday assistance for the Angel Tree program, and we'd encourage those who have needs to be sure to sign up at the Salvation Army closest to them. We're still in need of coats for children and adults. Uh, in the adult sizes, we need 2X and above. Children, of course, we can use all sizes. I want to end by saying our goal this year is $1.4 million. $400,000 from that goal comes from the familiar red kettle. So when you see the kettle this year, please take time to stop, dig in your pocket, and give us some change to make a change in somebody's life this holiday. Thank you, Mayor, for your encouragement you and your support. Thank you. Thank you, Major. So now we know you're going to do some of your Christmas shopping at the Assistance League. And when you're out and about and see the kettles, make sure you drop a little extra money in for the Salvation Army. They do uh, really good work in our community also. And so we appreciate what you do. So behind me, you see the new van that's been colorfully not painted. It received a bit of a facelift. And um, we are pretty proud of what our park and rec department is doing in terms of the mobile recreation vehicle that's behind me. So the wrap that you see is something that um, will help bring uh, certainly better notice to the van being out in different areas and, and share with people that they're there to have fun. We have with us today uh, Barry the Bison. And is Barry, you didn't bring Spinner though, did you? Well, so Barry's with us today. Certainly we can get our picture taken with him. And uh, here to talk about also Park and Rec and our, and our um, wonderful, successful open streets is Troy Houtman, our Parks Director. So I'm gonna let Troy come up and talk about the programs that they're doing with this awesome new van and talk about open streets. So, Troy? Great. Thank you very much, Mayor. A couple of great things. Uh, behind us is our new wrapped van. It's actually a 2004 van. It looks brand new, but we put a new wrap on it. And the purpose of this van is it goes out to different parks. It goes to different locations. And we have a bunch of games. We have a bunch of balls in here. And we just pull it out so kids can come out and play. So we use it for our special events. And we have other organized activities. And so we're pretty excited to have this to, to promote our department. And of course, Barry the Bison, he's the best mascot of all. So we really are excited to have him on the van. Another great piece of news is that we were so successful with open streets. We had open streets, it was about a month ago, right down the middle of Douglas. We closed down four miles and we met with our committee and we met with a lot of different supporters and overwhelmingly folks wanted it again. So I wanted to announce the, uh, the date for next year is the uh, it's going to be on a Sunday. It's the 23rd of September next year, and already we're starting to plan. It takes us a whole year to plan for it, so we're excited about that as well. And so uh, what a great time to do this when we're celebrating today with the rest of our city employees. And uh, we just have had great support from the mayor uh, for the Parks and Recreation Department and all the things that we do. So I'll turn it back over to the mayor, but I just wanted to share those two quick big items for us. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Obviously, you know that you've made it in this world when you get to travel around in a van with your life-size picture on it. Good job. 
Maybe someday the mayor will have his own van and picture. <laughs> That's awesome. So the last thing that we'll talk about before we open it up to uh, questions is the uh, reason why we've done this, uh, this event over here today is we're raising some money today and we have the dunk tank. And unfortunately, I have another meeting to head off to and I cannot participate, but the manager's going to be here very soon and he's gonna participate and we get a chance to dunk the manager along with a couple of council members. And so it's again an opportunity to raise some funds for some good causes and uh, hopefully we can uh, have as many people step up and, and dunk the manager. Would encourage all of you to at least take one throw and at this point in time we will open it up for questions.